been a bit since I launched a new product and I'm really hyped for the one I'm about to launch today. I'll be honest though, this is a bit more selfish a product launch than most of my products. Usually the thing I'm building is something that I kind of need and I can see a lot of other people who need it. This is the opposite. This is something I really needed. I've been using this product for over a year now in different forms. I've probably rewritten it three or four times. You might even recognize parts because I've used them for tutorials in the past. We're gonna dive in not just to what it is, but how it works too. So even if the product isn't interesting to you, stick around because the way we built it might be. So what did I build? Is it upload thing? No, it uses upload thing. It's a new thing though, pick thing. I am so hyped to finally release pick thing. <laughs> in case you haven't been keeping up on Twitter drama, background removals is a thing that I have put a lot of time into. <laughs> I have been thinking about this for a while because I make a lot of thumbnails for my content and I wanted to make it easy for anyone to just manage their assets, remove the backgrounds and get back to work in their editing software of choice. I even have this fancy little animation when you hover over that removes the person from the background. It's a random stock image guy, okay, for those asking. So. Clearly, I haven't fixed the responsiveness yet. We'll get there. But I want to show how it works because it's quite nice. I'm going to zoom out so you can see a bit better. I'm going to grab a bunch of pictures. I'll just grab this set of photos of myself. Drop it. Upload. And they're all uploading. We're dog fooding a bunch of new stuff with this. I hope you guys saw how fast that was, by the way. All the other tools for this are significantly slower. Let's do another quick. We'll use different shirt color so that it's clear that it's different. Grab this chunk, that's 12 images, all pretty big by the way. Any one of these images is as much as a megabyte. So we're uploading a ton at once. They're all being saved. They're all on my servers and they've all had their backgrounds removed. And now using it is as simple as click the copy button, go to your software of choice. For me, it's Affinity and I can just paste it. And look at that, super clean background removal, even slight blurring on the hair edges. It looks great. A lot of people have asked like, why not just use the Mac OS built-in? Let's try the Mac OS built-in quick. We're gonna quick action, remove background. And now I have it with the background removed and we'll compare that. Do you see the difference here? <laughs> like one of these is totally usable, ready for a professional use case. The other one is absolute fucking garbage, like maybe fine for a meme, but you can't actually use the one built into Mac. And all the local models, all the browser models, all the other options I've seen are just not usable. It's not even like a slight difference. It's just entirely unprofessional. Like you can't use that for real use cases. Adobe has a built-in thing for this, but theirs I found to be similarly trash. It's like somewhere between these two, but ours is within the best. It is also some of the most fairly priced. Ours is only $6 a month for 100 images with no catches. That's a really good deal, especially when you look at the competition. The service I used to be using as the background like tech solution for this is a wonderful service named Remove BG that I sold a bunch of credits for because I let them charge me for too long. An important detail with them is that their 40 credit for $9 option is both four times more expensive than us and you can't use the images for commercial use. So you can't even use that option. It's insane, it's actually hilarious. And the quality that you get out of this is slightly worse than what we're providing. I'm so pumped with what we have here. I genuinely think this is a very, very useful tool for creators. There's a couple of things I'm planning to add in the future. I got the pieces of one of them in already, which is tags. So I'm making a new tag here, um, dark red for the ones that have a dark red shirt. We'll add a few of these. Add the dark red tag. And now when I click this, it will filter out all the things that don't have that tag. Very, very happy with the results here. It's a one-click copy for the background removed. I also added the ability to copy the link and you can show the non-transparent versions as well. All of these load in super optimized. I've done some crazy tech stuff. If you're interested, you might, might be down to do some inspecting here where if you open an image in a new tab, you'll see an interesting URL here, cdn.image.engineering. I've been thinking a lot about image optimization. You might have guessed that from recent videos about things like WebP, JPEG XL, and all of that. And I am not happy with the current state of image optimization. Honestly, as silly as it sounds, like Vercel's built-in, as expensive as it is, is one of the better options right now. But if you want to have good asset serving for your different users, like in this case, this image, let me just see how big this is, the version that came down. That's 8.8 kilobytes. And if we grab the original, which I can get by grabbing this link, the original is a decent bit bigger here. Yeah, that one's four megs. So we went from four megs to nine kilobytes 
and it's a perfectly usable preview image, I really want to release this for y'all too. So if you're interested in an API for image optimization, as well as image background removal, there's a decent opportunity coming soon. Let me know in the comments and image.engineering might become an API that you can buy of its own. Yeah. We dog fooded a lot of stuff here. We're trying out the newest upload thing infrastructure where a large part of why I'm deploying this right now is because I want to push the limits of our new infra, see how fast it can go, see how much more reliable it can be. I'm also testing two new services, one for the background removal and one for that image optimization stuff. And hopefully by the end of the month, we can release all of these for y'all to use. So while I'm not sitting here expecting everyone to go sign up for pick thing and use this for everything, it's a genuinely super useful tool for me and hopefully for the other creators that have been asking me for it too. And long-term, it's an opportunity for us to build new pieces of infrastructure and new services that are both powering this and can be sold on their own for all of you guys to use as well. I'm so excited for the future, not only of pick thing, but of upload thing, image engineering, and all these other things that we've been working on. I'm hyped. I am actually really excited. I've wanted to release this for a while. In fact, fun origin story, upload thing originally started as pick thing. I was building this for managing my own assets. And uh, the thing I didn't expect to have happen was S3 nerd sniped us. And we spent so much time trying to get the storage part right that the original upload thing release was the stuff we had built for the original pick thing. This project has consistently brought me to lots of really cool services, APIs, opportunities, and infrastructure. And now it's actually out. Now we can come up with even more. Now you guys can use it too and let us know what you think. I have a lot of cool features coming soon. The one big one I didn't quite get ready for launch that I'm hoping to have ASAP is the ability to share a specific tag publicly so you can link other people on your creative team to a given set of images. We're already using that on the old version of pick thing that I built for my team way back, but I want that accessible to everyone because if I'm a creator and I want to just dump a bunch of my faces to other people on my team to make thumbnails, use them in videos, whatever, the ability to have a tag and then share all of the things within that tag with whoever wants them, very useful. Yeah, I'm hyped. Really cool product. What I'm using for the actual background removal is currently a secret. There's a future where I do share that. But for now, last time I asked the public what background removal tools to use, it became a saga, <laughs> like a, a pretty absurd, chaotic mess. And yeah, the results, the things people offered me here were not good. There's 127 replies. And I, I'm telling you, I used zero of them. I'm doing something quite different here. The one thing people love to recommend was the RMBG package. It's a Python package that uses a model. You're not allowed to use that model for commercial use. So I hope if you're using that, you're just using it for fun. Because if you want to use it commercially, you have to pay them a pretty exorbitant fee. And the quality of that model is not as good as what we're doing. And it's certainly not as fast. Nobody else is getting you that like transformed image in under half a second without compromising on quality or doing some crazy stuff on your own machine. All of this runs in the cloud. All of this is working incredibly well. I'm really pumped the quality of what we're able to put out here. That's all I have to say on this one. I'm genuinely really excited to finally have this out. Let me know what you think. And if you're excited for these APIs to come out as well. Until next time, remove some backgrounds.